Is Twitch still the best streaming platform? You know, if you had asked me this 10 years ago, I would have said yes without a doubt. But now, I'm not so sure. With all the recent layoffs, uprising competition from other platforms, and the massive amounts of drama Twitch is surrounded on Twitter, this is kind of a tough question to answer. So the other day, I asked my chat during my live stream on what they thought the pros and cons were on streaming on either the three big main platforms such as Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. And I wanted to kind of share with you some of my thoughts on it because I am so sick and tired of having to listen to things like this. Nope. Why would I... <clears throat> compromise my morals and ethics for more money when I have money. Something about that is so cringe. Like, seriously, Pokimane? Your morals? You, uh, you really want to go there right now? Didn't think so. Something about that is so cringe. All right, with that being said, grab a snack from today's sponsor, Tokyo Tree, and let's start off with Twitch. <laughs> Let's talk about the pros on Twitch. So, what do we love about Twitch? Anyone? Huh? Hello? Okay, Chad, don't worry. I will hold your hand in this entire thingy. All right, pros about Twitch. Let's go. It has very easy moderation. Twitch's moderation is not perfect, but it's easy. Ban someone, time someone out, delete their message. It's super easy to use. Chat integration. Ah, oh, yeah. Don't make fun of my spelling. We can have hot tub streams. Oh, yeah, that's a pro. You're right. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I love watching my favorite streamer in a hot tub getting squeaky clean for me in that bath water that she's been sitting in for eight hours. Ah, oh, pruny skin. That's it? That's all you guys have? Okay. Um, so right off the bat, my chat not only exposed themselves in 1080p on, uh, what they like to watch on the weekends, but if you think about it, Twitch does allow a lot of different content on its platform, which is funny because Twitch used to be strictly a gaming-only live streaming website. Shout out to anyone who still remembers this when this used to be called Justin TV. <laughs> You feeling old yet? Anyways, yeah, Twitch has a lot of different content on its platform, for better or for worse, because it makes money. Twitch used to be a website that would bleed purple, but now it's bleeding red, which means Twitch isn't making any money to sustain itself. So now it's kind of loosened up a lot of the restrictions on what is and isn't allowed on the website. And in some sense, that's a good thing. We can have art streams, IRL experiences, and connect with our viewers in ways that I don't think Jeff Bezos could have ever predicted like 10 years ago. And that's not the only pros on Twitch. Because Twitch is owned by Amazon, and if you have Amazon Prime, then you can get a free subscription on any of your favorite streamer's channel, which means you won't have to deal with seeing ads, and a portion of that money will support that streamer. But I'll get more into that in just a bit. So, um, Twitch is very community focused. You know, they have channel points, VIP and loyalty badges. They encourage gifting subs and donating bits, and they have like these cool little hype trains every time someone does that. And you you can rate other streamers incredibly easily. You literally just gotta type in their name and it's so straightforward. I think everyone can agree that Twitch has the best chat integrations that makes it very easy for streamers to feel closer to their communities and interact with them in real time, especially for small streamers where that's super important. Now, with that being said, remember how I said Twitch is just bleeding red from all the money they're losing? Well, in order to have all these amazing chat features, integrations, and just stuff to keep the server alive, Twitch needs to make money, right? And instead of utilizing resources from Daddy Amazon or implementing smart marketing in business chats to help raise money, this is what Twitch decides to do instead. Let's talk about the problems with Twitch. Let's, um, cons. Not anime cons, cons, bad, stinky, poo-poo things, okay? I love how everyone's first con is just the ads. Everyone can consciously say the ads. The ads are some of the most intrusive, annoying little things that I have ever experienced on stream. Like, I haven't seen this many annoying ads since cable. Becoming a subscriber on a channel only stops ads for that streamer. So for example, being subscribed doesn't always get rid of ads. If the streamer manually puts ads on the channel, then sorry, but you're still gonna see ads even if you're subscribed. Because, you know, Twitch is actively trying to incentivize streamers to do that. One of my biggest gripes against Twitch is that there is this constant pressure to have to always stream. Always, because when you are not streaming, 
your channel is dead. You are not making any money. I'm like, I don't know. I just don't like how there is so much pressure to bring other people to your platform. You have to really grind to form a community and convince someone to go on Twitch to want to watch your streams. I used to really love Twitch and would have so much fun going to TwitchCon and making new friends. And I miss feeling like I was actually a part of a community. Now it just feels like no matter what I do, my community is going to have to sit through a bunch of unskippable ads and the fact that Twitch takes such a high cut of my money from my subs, donos, and bits, it just feels like I could never make a living by being a Twitch streamer, so why should I stay on here? Like sure, I get 50% from my subs, but that's about $2.50 that I now have to save 30% of that for taxes. So in reality, I'm only making like a dollar from every sub, and that's not a livable wage for me to want to continue to stream on Twitch. I care a lot about my Twitch viewers, which is why I've strongly encouraged them to subscribe to my YouTube channel or to follow me on Kick, where they don't have to deal with the ads, and overall, they can feel relieved knowing that I'm actually getting the money they donated. So if you're watching this and you're a streamer and this is what you truly want to do full time, then I suggest you think carefully about where you want to put the most of your time and energy into content creation. Okay, I'm kind of done talking about Twitch. If you want to see me go more in depth, then either check out my live stream or my second channel where I did a much longer edited version compared to three different platforms. Because now I'm ready to talk about YouTube since yeah, you can actually live stream on YouTube, baka. <laughs> What are the pros to streaming on YouTube? You have thumbnail and title. And I know a lot of people don't consider that a pro, but think about it. Think about how Twitch has streamers promote their channels. You have the big drama, absolutely sexy, sexy time with my mom. And then like exclamation point discord. And, and it's, just, it's so chaotic and like spammy. On YouTube, you really have to think hard on your title and thumbnail because you do have discoverability on YouTube. People can search your live stream. And not only that, but your VODs stay forever. And you earn money on those VODs through ads because the ads are not intrusive. It's basically a quality filter. I also just love the membership feature model because it's so similar to Patreon. If I want to have my own specialty streams with just my members, I can. Not only that, I can make dedicated YouTube videos for my members and I can use dedicated posts. Also, we have that YouTube premium. I love YouTube premium because you can just pay for YouTube premium once. It supports every YouTuber stream. You will not get the advertisement. And I love being able to play as someone's stream on my phone while turning my phone off or browsing through Twitter or just, you know, while I'm driving, just listening to Ludwig scream and rage over Jump King. It's really awesome. I love listening to men cry. This is my favorite pastime. So I'm not a stalker. I am obsessive. There's a difference. Ahem. Anyways, overall, YouTube does an amazing job at giving its creators a variety of different ways to monetize their content. Honestly, I don't understand why Twitch doesn't utilize their clips and VOD systems better. They clearly have no problem copying, or er, I mean, inspiring similar monetization avenues from YouTube or other streaming services. So why not make your platform more discoverable and implement better ways for your creators to make more money on the platform that doesn't sacrifice the viewer experience and it doesn't cause predatory or massive strain on the streamer to keep your streaming platform alive. Let's face it, without us, none of these platforms would even be able to exist anymore. With all of that being said, YouTube is not perfect by any means. YouTube does have a lot of cons. So we already know what the first con is. My poor chat. Like, come on, YouTube. It's not pretty. It's laggy. It doesn't feel good. It feels icky sticky. Mari doesn't like her chat. That's not true. I do. I like you, you, all of you. I like all of you. Seriously, YouTube, please. Do what Kick did. Deal Twitch's code and just make the chat better. Streaming is an afterthought on YouTube because it is a video consuming media platform. <laughs> Also, YouTube has a very strict DMCA and there is a broken false copyright claim system in place. But what I will say about YouTube is that it actually has a decent sub split. 70-30. Could be better still. It's not like Google is drowning in like debt and that they need the money that badly, but it is better than 50-50. So there is that. Although the one thing that's really annoying about YouTube is that you don't see that money for like an entire month after everything's processing. And not only that, but... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
it's kind of difficult to get monetized on here. I had this really bad experience getting my channel monetized on here. For three months, I did not make a single cent when I had reached monetization because for some reason, Google was having a lot of issues verifying my account and I was talking to the YouTube's team's like support chat for three months and they could not figure out why. As it turned out, some weird, weird, weird glitch happened in my account when I went to apply and it duplicated my account. So YouTube's automation system was flagging it as spam. It took three months for them to figure that out. So I did not make a single cent for three months from my videos. And guess what? I didn't make any of that money back. All the, the money from like the AdSense and the views, I didn't see a single cent of that and I never will. And it's also really scary how a stupid robot can take my channel away from me at any time and I can't do anything about it. That's scary. I really did get scammed. BS. So what about kick? Ew. Your first comment about kick is ew? What's kick? Open your mouth. I'll show you what a kick is. <laughs> I've been a Twitch streamer for about six years and I started this YouTube channel three years ago, so I wasn't really around when Twitch was just on TV, but I do remember some of the earlier days on Twitch and for some reason, Kick just reminds me of the very early days on Twitch where it was kind of like the Wild West of streaming. Basically, everyone's memeing on Kick saying it's the green Twitch because the UI is similar. Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with that. I think um, competition is very healthy because it stops monopolies and it encourages other platforms to treat their creators better or else they'll lose them higher sub split the 95 to 5 and again that's to very specifically take a dig out at twitch and youtube because youtube was 70 30 and hey look there's no ads unless if you're in the gambling section it's also just a brand new shiny platform which encourages experience Exposure? Because it's uncharted territories, meaning that, mm, you know, you could blow up. How do you think Pokemon and XQC and Tyler1 and uh, Germa and Moist Critical, Asmongold, how do you think they all blew up? They were first on Twitch. Some of them were even there when there was Justin TV. Kick is new. You could be first. Being first is so important as a content creator. Also, Kick encourages multi-streaming. In fact, they have a dedicated restream plugin that you can connect to your restream account. I've been seeing everyone saying that Kick is going to fail like Mixer and Burnout because how can they possibly keep up with the business model like that? How can they possibly afford a 95 to 5 split, a 15 an hour pay, and then giving xqc that bazillion gajillion contract which by the way xqc ayo if you like anime cat women and want to become a vtuber i have videos on it you baka stop using the vtuber tag anyways kick is able to do all of this because they are affiliated with gambling and like they have money. They're not going to run out of money. Cringe. Let's talk about the cons on Kick. First of all, why did you name it Kick? Why? What's wrong with you? Why did you name the website Kick? You know there is an app called Kick, right? K-I-K, -K, the messaging app. When I Google Kick, that is the first thing that pops up, not your website. I have to type in Kick Streaming to get the website. Not only that, but gambling. I think it's a valid reason to not want to stream on kick because of gambling but as stated before you only get gambling ads in the gambling section of kick also a little side note about the gambling part while i was editing this video and trying not to unalive from this cold kick announced that you can toggle off gambling and other streaming content that you don't want to see on their platform and they double down on their 95 5 split saying they're not going to be changing that this is a very big power move that literally makes all these arguments about gambling kind of invalid so like what else can we say about kick? Kick is green. Green is money. Green, 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 green. K looks like Minecraft sword. Children like me. Children go on kick. That's why kick is green because it's meant to subconsciously tell you that you're gonna make money because green is related to money. And children like Minecraft so they get the children on the website and then the children are gonna wanna watch the gambling stuff. Gamble with the loot boxes. 
sorry i like to go on a lot of tangents sometimes on stream not as bad as charlie but this tends to happen a lot when i drink chalky milk anyways we listed all the pros and cons for every platform we know about our amazing sponsor oh wait no we don't how could you make me almost forget to talk about tokyo treat and sakura co i never forget just like i haven't forgotten what you did on october 31st 1997 at 201 p.m i have all the evidence and i am not afraid to call the fbi so you better watch this segment baka anyways i know we get carried away sometimes just like you did on that faithful night and if you're like me then you're probably sitting at your desk for 10 plus hours every day you know it's important to eat and stay hydrated right tokyo treat and sakura co are great ways to have snacks and drinks around so you're not just sitting by your computer for 10 plus hours every day getting hangry and then browsing through twitter arguing with random who's about literally nothing they're both a subscription box that delivers Japanese snacks, tea, and other amazing goodies right to your door so you can get a little taste of Japan. Because, let's be honest, you could have watched any other YouTuber talk about these three different stream platforms, but you chose to listen to a VTuber, which means you're a weeb, and weebs like Japanese snacks. Duh! Like, look at this! This month's theme for Tokyo Treat is Okinawa's Seaside Snackin'. Okay, don't judge, but I got kind of excited over this month's Kit Kats, and I accidentally ate all of them before I could record this video. Like seriously, what'd you expect? Cookies and cream are my favorite flavor. You're lucky I held off from eating the rest of the snacks in this box so I could record it for you. And the same went for Sakura Co. But Sakura Co is a little bit different since they focus on traditional Japanese snacks made from local Japanese businesses. So every Sakura Co box you buy supports them and you get a cool tableware item. This month's theme for Sakura Co. is the heritage of Nikko. And the special monthly tableware item is going to be some patchwork furoshiki, which is essentially like a traditional Japanese wrapping cloth. You can use those like a handkerchief, a fashionable bandana, or you can actually wrap it around in a cool little bento box. As nice as it is to have the newest trendy snacks from Tokyo Treat, I personally really like Sakura Co. because they give you tea. And if you know anything about me, I am very big on drinking tea. I like boba tea, drama tea on Twitter, and Sakura Co. tea because it keeps me hydrated sipping on all of the seething comments I'm probably going to get after making this video. So thank you to Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co. for keeping me fed on snackies this month and letting me try those amazing Kit Kats like oh my. I'm sure you're probably wondering, Mari, you focused a lot about money on this video, you money grubbing cat. And uh, yeah, because let's be honest here. The majority of people who are going to be watching this video are streamers who most likely want to turn this stream into more than just a hobby. And how do you do that? Huh? With money, duh, baka. And besides, that's what started this whole argument between these big streamers anyways. Money! Literally, XQC gets a big million bazillions of dollars in his contract to stream on Kick, and that had to have struck a nerve in Pokemon because they didn't get offered that. Literally, none of them had a single thing to say about the platform for months until this contract dropped. And honestly, something about that is just so cringe. It more or less comes down to how you feel knowing that the company is backed up by a gambling company, which is it any better than Amazon? Amazon, the company that doesn't give any of their workers any benefit. Oh yeah, we'll give you like these like benefits, sure, but you have to work an insane amount of hours and be treated poorly for your special two prime day shipping. Like, is it really any better? Is that where your morals lie? Do you support children endangerment? Cringe. Like, come on, be honest with yourself. What's the real Real reason why you don't want to stream on kick it's because you don't like change that's what this is all about gambling is just a aha i have a reason to pin it on something yes gambling is bad gambling destroys lives but don't pretend like you're some like white knight in virtual signaling that that's the reason why like stop stop joking with yourself you just want to be liked and, and agree with like the better opinion that's the only reason why you're saying all that stuff because in reality even if it wasn't affiliated with gambling you would find some other reason to bitch and moan about it. I can't tell if I'm getting delirious from being sick or if all this fighting and arguing over Twitch this and kick that is just starting to like, you don't need to worry about these other big streamers and their morals argument clouding your judgment on where and how you want to earn your bread. I just think that this whole argument is so ridiculous and I wanted to upload this video sooner, but as you can tell, I'm not feeling very good. And also, 
That's my goal, baby, let's do it. And he literally said all the things I want to say in this video, even though my live stream came out way before his video did. I talked about the exact same thing. But he does make a very good point in this video where it basically all comes down to this. <laughs> what are your main goals for streaming? Is it to make friends and build a small little community for yourself? Then stream on Twitch. Is your goals for streaming to build a business and a brand while growing an audience? then stream on YouTube and make video content? Or is your goal for streaming to try to get as big as possible, make as much money as possible, and have a better chance at more exposure because you were first? Then stream on Kick. Nobody is better than anyone else for where they choose to stream. And honestly, maybe it's a good thing that Elon is limiting people's Twitter use because if this is where streamers are gonna go and waste the majority of their time on instead of, you know, making good content, then I don't know. Do something more productive, I guess. Like, I don't know. I don't feel so good. So I'm going to go back to bed. Thanks for watching. And remember, everything reminds you of something. Bye.